once we were about four and a half hours into the climb and we spotted this mountain goat laying over there on a big rock. But now we got to drop down in this valley and come up the other side. And it's raining and it's nasty. And we're pulling ourselves up on our hands and knees. And I mean, it's, it's nasty. We're taking a beat. Finally, seven and a half hours we get into it and we stay in the, in the brush and we're trying to go up through the brush and we're trying to get closer to him. Gosh sakes, I mean, it just, we, we, can't, we can't get any closer than 500 yards. And we pull up on the old rock and I said, there, I said, I can make this shot. He was exactly at 500 yards. I said I should shoot him for 450. Okay, here we go. the true wilderness of Alaska, where host Bob Folkrod has ventured in search of the White Mountain King on this Winchester Legends. There's our boat, Northern Star. <laughs> Brings back memories from the last goat hunt. This will make my third goat hunt that I did with Hans. It's 4.30 in the morning and he wants to get an early start. It's the first goat hunt of the season and he's anxious. We got uh, about eight or nine hours to get up in there, and I want to tell you, it's gorgeous. The glacier's falling, and cliffs on both sides, and you'll see goats from the boat. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of them trips you just always have to come back and do again. So that's why I'm here, back in Juneau, Alaska, hunting with Hans. This will make my third trip I've hunted with Hans, and I always look forward to it. Unlike a lot of trips, uh, the last two trips, the sun's been shining, it's been great weather, we've had great hunts. This particular one here, Mother Nature didn't, didn't shine very good on us. It rained just about the whole, the whole time we were there. Alaska's been good to me, but we worked for it. Yeah, one thing about hunting with Bob is the amount of knowledge he, he gathered over the years. Uh, he's basically a, a walking library. You know, you can ask him anything about whatever gun and calibers and optics. And I've learned a lot from Bob over the years. Folkrod's hunting Mountain Goat through the inside passage with old friend and outfitter Hans Bartle of Southeast Alaska Guiding. With all the necessary gear on board, the boat sets to sea with Folkrod and Hans and his crew with visions of mountain goats in their heads. Having circled the globe in pursuit of big game, Folkrod knows the effect travel can have on a gun scope. So he always checks his zero at his destination. You hear me say, try the rifle. In this case, we flew from Pennsylvania all the way up to Alaska. We've been on a boat that's been bouncing around. It takes a little bit of time, and that gives you the confidence level that you need. And respect for the animal, knowing when you pull the trigger, you're going to make a good, clean kill on time. Can you see it? Everybody ready? Hunting mountain goat can mean shots at extreme long range. And the finest ammunition for that kind of hunting is the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip. The polymer tip prevents deforming in the magazine and guarantees that the bullet's critical ballistic coefficient is maintained. Add a hard alloyed lead core, contoured brass jacket, and unsurpassed boat tail accuracy, and you have a bullet designed for downrange stability and controlled expansion on impact to bring down game with deadly accuracy. Yeah, my first shot really went high, didn't it? That was my last shot. Well, pretty good. Hopefully, this will be a dead goat. <laughs> Mountain goats are large, heavy animals that cling to sheer cliffs like flies stuck to window panes. The impossible terrain they inhabit is their ultimate protection. Well, we got a pretty good goat spotted right up there on the top, right next to the snow line. And uh, as we'll start down there and kind of gradually 
go up through and break out someplace up on the top. At least that's the game plan right now. There he is. Got some nice hooks on him. Boy, he's really furred out good, isn't he? Nice chaps on him. Hard part is getting off across those plates. The ones he stands above. Yeah. You kind of got to go up there and then traverse. We can walk over there, walk toward her and just let him come down to us. He read the script, didn't he? <laughs> Did you hear that on that rock? It's called opportunity. We started up through this area. Well, five hours later, we're on top to where we could see, but now we got to drop down in this valley and come up the other side. And it's raining and it's nasty and we're pulling ourselves up on our hands and knees and, and I mean it's it's nasty. We're taking a beating. Finally, seven and a half hours we get into it and we got a couple goats that's got us pinned down and we're trying to go up around them and not spook them. Well, we need to kind of stay on our side. We can't just cut across here. Because if they start moving up, the whole world's gonna go. Yeah. And I'm getting all set up on the on my shoot and rest and everything. Yeah, then there's one up above that's just walking away. I won't. Guess what? They seen us or smelled us or something and they, they drifted off over there. They were standing about 400 yards away and I go, I can take this goat. There's one up at the top and he's got his head down. Don't you know the fog rolls in? You know, we got a hell of a fog bank coming in. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. By Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. And by Swarovski Optic. The hunt's just begun, and already on the cliffs along the shore. Bob Folkrod and guide Hans Bartle have spotted a goat worth going after. There he is. Got some nice hooks on him. Boy, he's really furred out good, isn't he? We can walk over there, walk toward her and just let him come down to us. You hear that on that rock? It's called opportunity. We started up through this area. Well, five hours later, we're on top to where we could see, but now we got to drop down in this valley and come up the other side. And I mean, it's it's nasty. We're taking a beating. We go through these trees. It should be over on the left-hand side of this. That's where they was yesterday. There's something magical, just the name of Alaska. Once you get up there, I mean, you're looking at this country or flying over, and all of a sudden you you might feel real macho and walking around, and all of a sudden you start looking at Alaska and you start to get small and small and more. And you feel like, man, I'm just a speck here. Finally, seven and a half hours we get into it, and we got a couple goats that's got us pinned down, and we're trying to go up around them and not spook them. We got the goats located. I just got the scope on right now. There's one up at the top. And he's got his head down. That's the one that had his head down earlier? Yeah. Yeah, that's a really. How far is he? He's 582. 582? Yeah, right now he's got a bunch of goats in line with him. I'll let him move off to the side a little bit. And I'm getting all set up on the on my shoot and rest and everything, and don't you know the fog rolls in? You know, we got a hell of a fog bank coming in. and shuts us down. That hurts. Yeah, it's disappointing we got up there and starting to go in for him when the fog rolls in. And there we sat, looking at our clocks, knowing that we only had a short time. It was gonna take us four, four and a half hours to get back down to the water and we, we, we got down with a half hour to spare, but I certainly wanted to want to spend the night on the mountain or even try to come down with flashlights because it was just too treacherous. So even though you get your butt kicked, it's still blessed to be able to climb a mountain and see them glaciers and see the scenery. And that's what keeps you enthused. This episode of Training Camp is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Well, I found out 
doing bench time is very important. Now I know my gun shoots. So through the year, I save my coffee cans and I come and I put them on this hill and uh, it'll let me test my range finder and let me shoot uphill because I've been on this goat hunt a couple times and so far, all of them have been shooting uphill. Well, we're ready to shoot. Uh, we put the jugs up at the top and that last jug is 300 yards and instead of being eight and 10 inches, what we've been playing with, that's the six inch jug up there. So at 300 yards, I shoot it for 250. Hit him again, hit him again. Dead goat, we got pieces all over the place. That's where it goes in, a piece of plastic, but basically the inside's full of water and it just absolutely explodes it. You can see this thing just expand. That's what happens inside of an animal. And that's why I use Winchester ammo. We are ready to go on any hunt that they throw at us this year, just because we've done our homework right here in Pennsylvania. This episode of Training Camp was brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. You know, I'm a very fortunate individual. I get a chance to hunt with people that, that really don't need the TV show. We got one thing in common, we're the real deal. And in this case, Hans is the real deal. Yeah, one thing about hunting with Bob is uh, he's a good old boy. And the first time he showed up was, uh, I think, in the early, early 2000s. Here we go. There you go. He's gonna come right to us. Whether he's out there hunting mountain goats or whether we're having our local brew at the at the bar and people come in, I mean, they got a lot of respect for Hans, you know, and that's the kind of people I like to hunt with. I love hunting with the real deal people that's been there and done that. I mean, that's just, that's just great. That's just part of the icing on the cake. Right over the shoulder, right there on a rock, rock cliff. They just don't get any better than that. That's, that's some adventure right there. I know one thing about Bob, and you're always giving me 100%, and uh, that, that will make the difference in a successful hunt. Ooh. What a beautiful goat. Oh, boy. Look at that. He's a niner. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what. What a fantastic hunt. Thanks again, man. Yeah, Appreciate it. The fog has ended one hunt. And now, the next day, the best approach is some intensive glassing of the shore from the wheelhouse of the Northern Star. We got goats right here. The glacier's off to our right, up in. I mean, you talk about a gorgeous spot. Brings back all the memories from the goats from before. Gotcha. Okay, man, take two. Gotta try. Bob has found a big goat in the spotting scope. Now it's time to go into action and fire up the skiff to get to shore and stalk into position for a shot. See him way up there? Yeah. Now we're gonna try to keep an eye on that goat. Um, you're looking at four to five hours just to get up there and who knows how long to, to try to find him. I guess we were about four and a half hours into the climb and we spotted this mountain goat laying over there on a big rock. He was exactly at 500 yards. I said I should shoot him for 450. Okay, here we go. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. By Hunter Specialties, the stuff of legends by Swarovski Optic, and by Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. Bob Folkrod has hunted the world from North America to Africa, Asia, and Alaska, and he knows that only wild lands make it possible for him to pursue his passion. The ominously named Tracy Armford's Terror Wilderness is the epitome of that kind of land. It's just a privilege to see Alaska, see what they've done, see the animals there is the chance to take there. I don't care whether you're sightseeing or whether you're on a hunt. I'll tell you what, Alaska's got a lot to offer. On top of that, we're operating in a wilderness area, Tongass National Forest. It's a very unique area. It's something you've probably not, never seen in your life. Calving glaciers, icebergs, snow-capped mountains, just the pristineness of it, uh, it kind of sets you back. 
the place looked the same way. Uh, could have been 10,000 years ago you'd be standing there. It, it probably didn't look any different. If you ever get a chance, not only for yourself to go hunting there, but don't be afraid to take the family up there. It's one fantastic, beautiful place to see. This land and sea mountain goat hunt is down to its last day. And Folkrod spotted a billy. He's going to put in his final hours stalking after. Gotcha. Okay, man, take two. See him way up there? Yeah. Now we're going to try to keep an eye on that goat. Um, you're looking at four to five hours just to get up there. And who knows how long to, to try to find him. I guess we were about four and a half hours into the climb and we spotted this mountain goat laying over there on a big rock. And we stay in the in the brush and we're trying to go up through the brush and we're trying to get closer to him. And gosh sakes, I mean it just we, we can't we can't get any closer than 500 yards. And we pull up on their old rock and I sit there, I said, I can make this shot. And I even talked about watching his chin here. And going back into Pennsylvania again and all the practice that we do, how much wind can affect that bullet? Well, guess what? Winchester's got a perfect ballistic chart in there that can tell you exactly how far that wind's going to change that bullet at that distance. Yeah. The 500 yard was dead on before. Huh? I said it was dead on before. So I'll back this off and see here. Three. Four. And we're sitting there and I'm shooting uphill a little bit. He was exactly at 500 yards. I said I should shoot him for 450. And I dialed the scope and that's one thing with that ballistic turret on that new Swarovski scope. I mean, that's that's just that quick. And once you get confidence into it, I've got a great rest. And I always said the longer the shot, the better rest you got to take. Okay, here we go. I'm watching the chin hairs move on to him. I wait for the chin hair to quit moving so I knew the wind quit blowing. And we pull up on their old rock and I sit there so I can make this shot. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Ram trucks, guts, glory, ram. Hunter Specialties, the stuff of legends. And by Redhead. Finest in the field since 1856. In the hunt's last hours, Bob Folkrod and guide Hans Bartle are driving themselves to get into position for a shot at a trophy mountain goat. We stay in the, in the brush and we're trying to go up through the brush and we're trying to get closer to him. Gosh sakes, I mean, it just, we, we, can't, we can't get any closer than 500 yards. And we pull up on their old rock and I sit there, I said, I can make this shot. He was exactly at 500 yards. I said, I should shoot him for 450. I've got a great rest. I'm watching the chin hairs move on to him. I wait for the chin hair to quit moving so I knew the wind quit blowing. Okay, here we go. He got him. Right in the shoulder. Whack. He was chewing his cud and he just keeps on chewing and falls off the rock. And the sun was shining. It's the only day the sun shone. That's number three with Hans. Oh yeah. We got over there, we snapped some pictures and it started raining again. <laughs> Brought you back to reality. Well, my third goat. Yeah. <laughs> Hell of a long shot. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of respect for those animals and the people that hunt them. I mean, they're, they're a beautiful trophy. They're a fantastic challenge to go get. And I look for the challenge. And we're in a wilderness area. And we thank the wilderness area for giving us the opportunity to come in here and hunt and 
film and show the rest of the world just what uh, what they've got. That was my third trip, and I already booked a hunt with Hans again. I said, put me down so when I turn 70 years old, I'm coming back up here to hunt these mountain goats again. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, Winchester has you covered online. Visit winchester.com to learn about innovative new products. Launch the award-winning ballistics calculator. Customize your shooting conditions and choose and compare your favorite ammo. Download the app for your iPhone and carry the ballistics calculator with you in the field. Winchester.com. Experience the American legend. I've talked to a lot of outfitters, and the three things they like to tell all their clients is be in the best possible shape you can be in, uh, what's your expectation, and, and knowing your weapon. You know, so back in Pennsylvania, we did the homework, and Strowski makes it real easy to dial in the scope. Look at this here. Look how, look how thick and white he is right there. You would, you would lose money betting on him where they can run to. 500 yards is, a, is that maximum distance. That's as far as we like to, like to stretch the barrel. And, but knowing the distance, range finding him, and being able to dial that scope, and the end result is we got a, a beautiful goat.